Hello guys, welcome back. Today, we are gonna be grabbing our notebooks and getting organized for the end of 2021. I'm gonna be sharing how I set meaningful goals for the end of the year, and also I'm gonna take you along as I make my vision board for quarter four, which is a new thing for me, but I'm really excited at how it turned out and I can't wait to share it with you all. So make sure to grab your journals, grab a cup of tea, some slippers, a blanket, and let's get cozy and journal together. Alrighty, so kicking things off, I'm gonna be grabbing my bullet journal for this plan with me, which is an A5 Blickstrom bullet journal edition to notebook. And I'm first gonna be going in and setting up my September monthly review. I really want to include my monthly review and just go over my process at the beginning of this video because as you'll see later on when I do my quarter four goal setting, it is a very important part of the goal setting process and I may argue actually it is the most important part. So more on that later, but here's a quick overview of how I review and reflect on each month at the end of, well, <laughs> said month. So for my September review, I create a really simple header using stamps. This one just says SEPT review because September would just take too long to stamp out and it would take too much space and we are all about saving time here, so I just abbreviated it. And underneath, I'm going in with my monthly reflection prompts. These can kind of change a little bit every month, but for the most part, the kind of structure is pretty much the same. This month, I kept my questions to kind of the bare minimum, the ones that I always like to include because I wanted to kind of save my energy for my quarter four planning and not go overboard on the monthly review and then just kind of be tired and not feeling it, and not feeling motivated. So the four questions that I chose to do in my monthly review for September were, what is the cool stuff that happened this month? This is just my version of monthly highlights. What did I learn this month? What were my September wins and accomplishments? And then after I do my kind of three main questions, I like to end it off with a physical check-in as well as a mental check-in, just kind of getting in tune with our bodies and our minds and seeing where we're at going forward. I personally believe that being able to check in with your energy and seeing kind of what energy you have is a really important part when setting goals because if you're feeling energetic, why not get more ambitious? But if you're feeling really tired and burnt out, that might be a signal that you maybe need to set some goals that help kind of take care and nourish your body. So with all the questions outlined, let me go in and share with you guys a couple of my answers. A couple highlights of my month were going on my Vancouver trip. We just went to the west coast of Canada and hiked around and it was a really, really great time. Very relaxing and super nice being outdoors. And another highlight for me was I am now officially a breakfast person. I used to hate eating breakfast, so for some reason now after the Vancouver trip, I've been really into eating right after I walk my dog in the morning and it's had a really great impact on my morning routine. So that is my second and final highlight. For what I learned, this month I learned that being outside is really good for you. <laughs> Maybe not the most profound realization, but something that I realized was important and I want to really work to include in my routine more. For my September wins, taking some time off was a big one. And kind of along with that, the mental refresh that came with it really, really was a big win in my mind. And these wins kind of do feed a bit into my mental check-in, which pretty much says the same thing. I'm pretty much feeling really rested going into October. And similar with my physical check-in, I'm actually feeling really strong from all the hiking. So that was kind of an overview of all the things I'm feeling at the end of September. The last thing I'm doing in this spread is my currently section. This is just something fun I like to include at the end, but I like to have a little spot where I write down what I'm reading, watching and playing at the moment, at the end of the month, just as a cool thing to look back on and see what I was into. So that was a very high level overview of my September review. This guy took me maybe five to 10 minutes, so it's definitely a very fast monthly reflection, but this month that was kind of a good thing because now we are gonna be transitioning into our quarter four planning. For this quarter four planning, I decided to create a cover page just so I could section off the planning and make it a little more separate from the rest of my journaling. 
and I did that by just stamping Q4 in the bottom right corner of this right hand page. One thing I will say is that if you are setting up these spreads along with me, maybe give yourself a couple extra pages that I did not because I found for my goal setting pages that you'll see next, I did kind of run out of room and wished I had a bit more. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So now we are getting into my goal setting process for the end of the year. And I thought I'd break this down into steps just to make it easier for you guys to understand and just to understand what I'm doing. So let's start with step one, which is the most important one. I mentioned this earlier when I set up my monthly review, but pretty much the first thing that I like to do for my goal setting is I like to go back and review my previous monthly reviews and reflections. This year I've made it a habit to do both weekly and monthly reviews, and while I love both, I would highly recommend if you're going to incorporate one into your life, the monthly review is not only an effective tool for seeing how you are, but now goal setting, I've realized that it's even more effective when it comes to figuring out what you actually want to do in your life and figuring out how to set those meaningful goals. This is where I always struggled with goal setting in the past because I felt like I would be setting these goals and picking these things to do just kind of out of thin air without a reason behind it. So I found that by basing my goals off of my monthly reflections and using those as kind of data points to figure out what in my life I needed to add more into really helped me kind of figure out what meaningful goals I wanted to then set for the end of the year. And if you don't have any monthly reviews, it's no big deal. This will just be kind of a trial run, but this will allow you to then gather data, which will then be more helpful a couple months down the line. So it's all kind of a trial and error process, but it is never too late to start. And now is the perfect time to get started on those monthly reflections and just kind of get your process going. After I reviewed my monthly reviews, <laughs> wow, alliteration, I went into my notes app on my computer and I decided to brainstorm all of my goals for the end of the year. Lately, I've been using my notes app as kind of a spot to write down any notes or in bullet journal lingo collections. I just find it's a much more effective way for me to organize my notes. So I'm not gonna go into that too much, but here is a look at my brainstorm. Pretty much, I decided to brainstorm my goals based on my three categories for goal setting, which are personal, business, and health. And for each category, I went in and brainstormed the goal itself, along with why I wanted to achieve that goal and why it was important to me. Again, this is just really driving home why the goal is important and really ensuring that we are setting goals that actually are meaningful to us and are actually going to have a benefit in our lives. So yeah, writing down the why, and then I went in for each goal and made a list of some stepping stones. Stepping stones are probably better termed like actionable tasks or things you can do to get closer to the goal. And while I didn't have a comprehensive list, I wanted to include a couple points to help me get started. So after my little brainstorming session in my notes app and getting all that information down, I'm going back to my journal and I decided to set up a vision board that I would paste in my journal that kind of reflected visually all the goals that I'm trying to achieve before the end of the year. So here is a look at my vision board and here's a quick overview of how I made it in case you're curious. I went into Pinterest and grabbed some photos that aligned with the goals that I set for this quarter and I took them and added them to a page in Canva where I collaged them into what you see here. Then I took the final PNG and I ran it through my preset in Lightroom just to help make the colors a bit softer. And then finally I threw it into Procreate so that I could draw and write on my vision board. I wrote stuff like the great outdoors, be true, be you. And I also did a bit of doodling just to really make sure that the vision board was tailored to me. And also just, I thought it was kind of fun to do and it was a fun way to kind of make this vision board my own. After that, I printed out my vision board and I took my handy paper cutter and I cut it out to size so I could glue it in my journal. I use this paper cutter. I really don't recommend it. It doesn't actually cut straight, which really bothers me. But you know what? You could totally go in with scissors and do this. You really don't need any fancy tools. One thing I would recommend is if you are gluing your vision board into your journal, just make sure to make it small enough so that it actually fits. 
What I did with mine was I tried to size it so that it was slightly smaller than one A5 piece of paper, since this is the size of my journal, and I made sure it was big enough so that it covered over the dot grid. Then I went in with my tape runner and glued that baby in. Carefully. I glued it carefully in, making sure there were no bubbles. And here is the finished vision board all glued into my journal. I really love how it looks, but the work is not done yet. On the right hand page, I'm going in and I'm creating a header that says quarter four. Now, originally I planned to write down both my goals as well as my why, as well as my stepping stones. But if you saw all of the writing I did in my notes page and now see the sides of my page in my journal, you might realize what I realized, which was I don't think I have enough room to fit everything. So instead I decided to compromise and I just wrote down each category as well as each goal. Now, this is my first time doing this spread, so definitely not the ideal scenario, but you know what? Our pages are not gonna always be perfect the first time we make something. That's kind of the beauty of experimenting with the journal. So I've made the mental note that I need to set aside maybe two pages to write down my quarter four and upcoming quarterly goals next time. As I'm writing down my goals, I thought I would share with you guys my personal goals in case you're curious. So starting with personal, I have two goals that I have in mind. My first personal goal is wholeness over perfection and just generally getting a grip on my perfectionism and learning to let things go. My second is really tuning in and finding my sense of self. My only business goal is to have fun creating, specifically have fun creating content here on YouTube. My two health goals are to move daily, and then also I want to be able to do 40 push-ups on my toes, as well as three one-minute planks on my toes, which is quite a challenge, so wish me luck. So here is a look at a close-up of my quarter four planning page, as well as my vision board. Again, if you're doing this at home, maybe give yourself a bit more room to write out your why and your stepping stones so it's fully complete, but this is what mine looks like for now. It'll definitely look very different next time, and uh, you know what? Let bygones be bygones, but let's move on to the final spread, which is my October intentions and goals. I'm hoping that through my intention spread, I can kind of show you guys how I'm actually taking those goals and making them actionable in my life. That is the full kind of process behind the step. So let's get into how I actually make my monthly goal setting pages. For this page, I'm stamping intentions as my header and brutally, brutally messing up the spelling as you'll see here. I stamped one end backwards. I forgot a letter. It kind of at least still looks like intentions, so you know what? We can kind of connect the dots in our brain and <laughs> yeah, we can figure it out, but I am trying my best to stamp the header intentions and then I'm gonna go down and write out my October goals. Before I get into goal setting, I really like to take a moment just, you know, for myself, just to take myself out of that kind of action and task oriented mindset and write down some things I'm looking forward to in the month. For me this month, I'm really excited for Canadian Thanksgiving. I'm excited for the apple cider. I am excited for the Halloween movies and I'm excited for the pumpkin Pillsbury cookies that I always eat every year. And by eat, I mean like eat 16 because I don't know why, but I have no self-control when it comes to those cookies, which is why I only buy them once a year. After writing all those things down, now I am going in and writing down my October goals. And I'm basing these goals on both my quarter four goals, as well as the stepping stones that I wrote down in my notes app. The last thing I'm writing down in my intentions page is fun stuff I wanna do during the month, because again, we gotta make sure that we have fun. We can't always be just doing hard stuff. <laughs> All right guys, and as we get to the flip through, you know what time it is. It is time to end off this video. I hope this video gave you some ideas on how to incorporate simple techniques that can help you meaningfully set goals. 
and I hope you enjoyed seeing what goals I'm setting for the end of the year. Let me know below what goals you're setting and I wish you all luck for your goal setting at the end of the year. And besides that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everybody.